Why do spoons and hedges always make me laugh? Stick around, I'll tell you all about it. Ladies, gentlemen, geeks of all ages, you are now entering BJ Shea's Geek Nation. Welcome. Hey guys, Chris Walker here, Uncle Chris on BJ and Migs in the Mornings, uh, back again with another episode of On the Couch with Chris. I'm in a chair, but you know, we're in the new studios here, we've got a lot of new space to work with. I've been told there will be a couch. One of the things we have at the new studio is this uh, green screen room uh, behind me here that, that I'm actually very, very excited to try out and see what I can do with it. Let's get to the topic and then I'm going to start playing around with the background and see what I can do. What I want to talk to you guys about this week is that The Tick is coming to Amazon. Now I started reading The Tick comic books way, way back in the, uh, in the early 90s and I loved it. It, it was one of the funniest things. I was reading The Tick. I was reading Flaming Carrot at the time. These were these were a two humorous comic books that I was reading that I was really enjoying. And if you haven't read The Tick comic books, you really do need to go check that out because it's great stuff. It's very well written. Some of the funniest storylines. Unironic ridiculousness. It's amazing. It's really, really good stuff. I loved those comic books. So Ben Edlin, the creator of The Tick, uh, started out, he had made a logo character for some local comic book shops in his area in, uh, I think it's early as 86. That turned into a comic book in 1988. There's still Tick stuff coming out today, and there's been spinoffs, you know, like Paul the Samurai, Mad Eating Cow. Those are both spinoffs from, from, from the Tick. And it gave us some really, really fun characters and some really great stories. I've been in, uh, from 1994 to 1996, it was an animated series on Fox. It was a really good show as well. I really liked the way they took the comics and translated it into uh, essentially a Saturday morning cartoon style of thing, but it was close enough to what the comic books were in absurdity and just fun it wasn't dumbed down uh, for, for kids it didn't need to be it was already the, uh, sort of at a, a fairly juvenile level but I mean there was a lot of sophisticated humor in, involved but it was also silly enough that I, I, I had a blast with it It was really really a lot of fun I, I liked the uh, animated series quite a bit three seasons 1994 to 1996 and I loved the tick animated series and then in 2001 Fox wanted to try again so they but they wanted to do it as a live-action series and they brought on Patrick Warburton to play the tick introduced some new characters uh, who weren't in the comic books but would you know translate well to TV as far as a live action show went. Unfortunately there were a lot of struggles. The tone of the show was a lot more mature and, he, and even Ben Edlin said that he'd really wish they had, had pulled back on that a little bit. It was one of those situations where he was the creator. He didn't have a whole lot of influence or control over what the, the network was doing. And on the flip side of that, Fox didn't actually own the tick the way they owned a lot of their other properties so they didn't promote it as well allegedly but that's you know that's neither here nor there I think a lot of critics uh, when talking about the show remember it fondly they said it was smart and funny and sarcastic and witty in a way that maybe audiences just weren't ready for it so it only aired for nine episodes but then the DVD release later on has also been very critically acclaimed the performances were fantastic the, the writing was fantastic everything the production value on it was high enough that, that everyone kind of wishes it had lasted a lot longer and been more of a show and if people had gotten behind it and they'd been excited about it Blah, 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 that it could have been this just amazing mega thing, but eh, it didn't happen. That's all right. But that brings us to the main reason that I'm even thinking about The Tick right now, which is they are doing another live action series. This one's going to be on Amazon. It's going to be exclusive for Amazon Prime members. It's starring Peter Serafinowicz as The Tick. And if you don't know who that is, he was on Space. He was in Shaun of the Dead. Did a lot of work with Edgar Wright. He was in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Fantastic British actor. Really, really good. But what I've also noticed uh, from watching the trailer, which you can check out on YouTube for the new Tick series, he does a great American accent and he's funny. And, and even just from the little bits of what we've heard from him in the trailer, it seems like he's got a good handle on the accent and he's got the tone of the Tick down uh, almost spot on, almost perfect. Hopefully, you know, everyone's going to get behind it. It looks like the production value is really high. Him in the lead role, Peter Serafinowicz. And then you've got uh, Jackie Earl Haley as a villain named The Terror. This sounds amazing and I cannot wait to see it. I'm really, really excited about it. The pilot episode aired last August. The show itself the rest of the series starts August 25th this year. So go check out the trailer, guys. Let me know what you think. Come on back here, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you thought of it. And, and if you uh, are looking forward to this as much as I am, because I think it's going to be great. Very, very excited about it. And you know what? As we always say, Spoon! There's a new show. So there's a new live action series coming to Amazon, uh, The Tick. So 